my gorgeous chickadees! Welcome to today's diary entry, which today I'm bringing you my huge, huge Fame Expo haul. You guys, I am so excited. I literally have been saving all year, well, since January. I was like, I'm not gonna buy any more makeup, which I cheated a little bit here and there, but shh, don't tell anybody. But overall, I saved so much money just for this occasion, and I'm so excited to show you everything. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. <laughs> Who should I go for first? Hmm. Z palette. So Z palette, I bought. I got one thing because I feel like I can't ever have too much Z palettes. I feel like there's always something that I can either depot or some extra eyeshadows that need more room. For example, my Makeup Geek eyeshadows now. I have too many and I have too small. Z palette. Well, I can combine those two and just put them all in here. I just thought this baby blue was really pretty too. And this is a large. From Time Los Angeles, I got me two precious mugs. This one says Makeup Time. How adorable is that? And the second one is the one with the lipsticks. How adorable. I had to get it. So I got these two right here. And Makeup Time, that's every morning. So it's Perfect. I thought they were so pretty. From LA Girl Cosmetics. I loved their bags. I actually used this bag the second day to carry all the bags that I actually bought. Well, I mean to carry all the things that I actually bought. All the bags would just fit perfectly in here, so. Okay, let's see. I got a concealer. Uh, I wanted to give it a second chance because I feel the color that I got last year does not really match me. It's a little too yellow. So I got this one in the color medium beige. And then I got these color correctors, which I have been, I've had my eye on them, so I decided to give them a go. I think I paid, they were four for 10 bucks, so you obviously cannot go wrong. This is definitely a good deal. I really do like the consistency of these. Also, I got this little combo thing. It brings a, a setting spray, a, a primer, and a, no hold on, yeah, a setting powder. So it brings a setting powder, a primer, and a setting spray. I don't know why I can't think today. And I also got me another one, I don't know, possibly a giveaway that's coming up, eh, eh, eh? From Violet Voss. Violet Voss, oh, always gets me because I am such a sucker for the cocoa lashes. And uh, that's literally the only thing I got. <laughs> <laughs> so I got me four more pairs right here. That's all that was in this bag. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so I got them in the style Queen Bee, which this is what they look like right here, because of Katie from Luster Lux. Her lashes look on point. I got another Queen Bee because I am in love with Goddess, which here's Goddess. These are the ones I was wearing on the second day at Fame Expo. I'm obsessed. And this is all thanks to Katie from Lost Lux. So Katie, this is all because of you. And then the last pair I've got is the Soho Lashes. This one has a thinner band, but the lashes are very flirty. So I just, it looks so pretty. From Makeup Geek. Oh, I had such a good time at Makeup Geek. I thought it was well organized as far as the tables. It wasn't too crowded. The only thing you had to wait for was basically to pay, but that was everywhere. So I thought that they did a fine job, actually. And from there, I got me more eyeshadows. I went a little more ham again. <laughs> this is a duochrome eyeshadow in Wildfire. I swatched this puppy and it was beautiful. And there's another duochrome eyeshadow in Kaleidoscope. This one was gorgeous. I really want to swatch them for you guys, but... For the sake of time, I'm moving along. So this is Karma right here. This, and this is not a duo, oh, it is a duochrome. So all these three are duochrome eyeshadows right here. Super gorgeous, all of these. For the eyeshadows, I've got Sherry Cola, which I've been wanting ever since they came out with this. I think it was last summer when she named the eyeshadows. This is Drama Queen. Yes, that purple, mm, oh yeah. And Fuji, right here, this like lime glittery green. I thought it was gorgeous. 
Uh, let me see, Morocco. Mmm. This is such a gorgeous orange. I definitely have to have my hands on, get my hands on it. It was so pretty. So those are all the eyeshadows I got at Makeup Geek right here from Dose of Colors. I was so excited because the color that I really, really wanted, I got three matte um, liquid lipsticks. And the one that I wanted was not sold out. So it was definitely meant to be. Thank you so much. Now I'm starting to sound like Desi, but cork, oh my god. I swatched this puppy and I was like, yes, give it to me. So I got cork, brick, and uh, chocolate wasted. This is what they look like. I feel like I always gravitate towards the same colors, so I wanted to get a little something different, you know? So let me see if I can swatch you cork because these are gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is what it looks like in the bottle. And bam! Are you kidding? So pretty, so I had, I had to get cork. And then break, let me show you. There's break, right there. I mean. Last one is chocolate wasted, and I was just gonna go with brick and uh, and cork because I definitely wanted cork. But then I decided to swatch this baby, and it was like, dang it! Now I really cannot, cannot put you down. I have to take you with me. And this is chocolate wasted. Like, really? These are beautiful. Artist Couture. Mr. Mac Daddy was there and I actually did take a picture with him and I got to meet him. He is so sweet. I asked him to send a shout out for my mom because my mom is obsessed with him and he totally did. He was so nice. So it was such a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Mac Daddy. And I decided to get one of his highlights because they are on point beautiful. When they, they tried it on me, I was like, well, it's probably not gonna be anything. Whoa, it is definitely something special. It was, it's like in your face, like you can't, <sighs> that glow is like, ooh, it'll put J-Lo to shame, it's that gorgeous. So this is Illuminati, this is the color that I got. I wanna open it because I don't want it to be a mess, but that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a champagne-y color, but it just, it's just beautiful. From Cinema Secrets, I got two of their Kalinas, which they were actually out of the big bottle, the big mama, and they were like, you know what, we'll give you two of these for the price of the big one, and I was like, done, done. If, actually, I think this is even better, because the big one is so big that I feel like it's hard to put somewhere in storage, I feel like it's hard to store. And with these two, I don't have to have like the big bottle. If I'm done with this one, I can just toss it and then start with the new one. So I'm really excited because ever since I got the little one with my Sephora haul, I cannot stop using it, especially with my eye brushes. It is just simplicity. I, I absolutely love it. From Vera Mona, I decided to just do it, go for it. I decided to get the color switch because I decided to give my bun a rest. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I used to use like those donut buns that you put in your hair, and I would just swirl my brushes around in it and it would get it clean and I would just go on with the next um, color for eyeshadow or whatever the case. And I found out that it was actually damaging my brushes. So, lesson learned kids, be gentle with your brushes. So. I decided to give the color switch a chance, and this was actually a sale they were having. They were giving you a package, so I gave you a brush right here, a double side, a dual sided brush, which is what it looks like, the color switch, and a refill. Namies, I uh, this was the first place we stopped at, and uh, let's just say that Mama got a little crazy and did a lot of damage. <laughs> so let's see, I got. Two flutter lashes, these right here, in the style 710, and I thought they were so gorgeous. I love when they're kind of divided like that. I don't know if you guys can see, I know it has like a bit of a glare, but but I love these. And then I got the pair Lindsay, which I thought they were semi-natural, but like full. 
So I decided to give them a go. They look so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see them right there. Oh, I've never tried flutter lashes, so this will be my first time. From Anastasia Beverly Hills, I decided to buy two of the Brow Wiz. I don't know if any of you guys have the same this problem, but this has happened to me twice. And this is going to be my third time giving the Brow Wiz a chance because every time I turn it up to use it, this is the second time this happens to me that after the third time I use it, it cracks and I don't pull it out that much, but it cracks. And so I have to keep on pushing the actual crayon part inside every time and I have to hold it at a certain angle so that I don't lose the tip. It, uh, it's just a mess. So I decided to get two in two different colors actually. I got soft brown and uh, what did I get? Soft brown and dark brown. So I want to use dark brown on the end of my tail and then soft brown at the beginning of my brow. So we'll see how that works. And from from Makeup Forever. Wait a second, what's this? Oh, from Makeup Forever. I got the I got three things. I got a little excited with Makeup Forever because I held off on I held off on buying these three products forever because I wanted to get them at Fame Expo. So I got the uh what are you? The skin skin equalizer smoothing primer. And this is what it looks like. I got the Ultra HD concealer because I'm very curious to, about the formula I want to see the payoff to see it, how full coverage it is because you guys know I'm obsessed with the foundation and last but not least I got their their <laughs> I got their um, foundation stick because I cannot get over the fact that you just swipe 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 and that's enough to just get a full coverage look uh, it's just amazing to me, so I cannot wait to try this. From Ardell, um, I, I got these two things, and they actually had a booth there. They just didn't have any bags, or any fun bags for that matter. So I decided to get this Lash Adhesive, the dark tone one with a brush. I actually used this one on the second day there to put on my Coco Lashes and Goddess. And let me tell you, I have never had a lash glue get so tacky on me so quickly that by the time I put on my lash, it would stay. And I'm talking seconds. I'm not even talking about like you hold it for 10 seconds and then you put it on. I mean like you put it on and by the time you grab your lash, it's it's tacky. Because I actually put it on my eyelid instead of on my lash because I'm a rebel like that. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm obsessed. And the next thing I got was this brow sculpting gel because I want to compare it to the Anastasia Beverly Hills and see which one works better or if they're actually kind of the same because mm -hmm. this was only like three bucks. At Nigel's, I decided to get no other than more lashes because they were only a dollar. This is in the style 523. I don't think they have a brand. They're just uh, eyelashes. <laughs> And then this one is 117, and this is what they look like. And the last one is number 47. I thought they were really cool. And for a dollar, I mean, I mean, it's a dollar. Come on. If I don't like them, it was only a dollar. And the second thing I got, which I thought was very interesting, is these uh, shadow shields. So it's the thing that, I don't know if you can see that right there. So you put it under your eyes so you can go about your makeup so you don't get that fallout under your eyes that makes you look like a raccoon, especially when you're going for dark eyes um, or for that smoky eye look that's really pretty. And you can actually use it around your lip too to make sure you get a really good, you know, line under the lip. So I thought this were really cool and it brings you 30 shields so you get 15 uses out of it. At Morphe's, I uh, did not go ham because I had gone to the store when I went in January for Generation Beauty and so I, I did some damage when I went there. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to take it a little easy plus I ordered way too many brushes last time but uh, lo and behold, I got more brushes. So when I was when I was getting to try the Artist Couture highlighters by Mac Daddy, they actually used this exact brush on me, the 310, and I was like, "Girl, what the heck did you use?" Because it just went on. I didn't even feel it. It was so freaking smooth and beautiful and soft. 
and it was actually this brush. So I'm definitely going to be using it to highlight next time. Actually with that same highlighter. And then the next brush I got was the 513. And this is what it looks like right here. So very interesting. I like different shades of brushes, so just because I feel like I can find different uses for it, you know, that crease, the outer V, just exploring. And the last one I got is the M439, and this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure this is one of Jaclyn Hill's favorites. I'm not too sure, but I wanted to try one of these chubby brushes that are not just flat to put on foundation and actually buff it out. This is kind of like the one by... Tart that is super big, but I have more control of this one because it's not so long. Like the bristles are not so long and it's not so big around. So I feel like I would have more control of it. So I can't wait to try it. I decided to stop at Jue because I have had actually my eyes on this sucker right here. And it is the limited edition mermaid glow palette. So this is what they look like and they actually come out just like this or you can have them all together. It's up to your preference. These are all the cream highlights. Like, could you die? These two are limited edition and once this palette is gone, it's gone. So I was like, oh yeah, I've never heard of this company. It's called Be Bella. And they had this brush that looked like the Artiste brushes, and it was only eight bucks. And I was like, yes, I'm definitely getting you because I want to try these brushes. They feel so soft, and they're super cheap. I mean, it was only eight dollars, so I was like, oh, okay, why not? Let me give it a go, and this is what it looks like right here. Very Spirit, I think that's how you say it. Um, I got a few of their makeup remover wipes for your brushes, right? Yeah, makeup brush cleaner wipe. And last but not least, I stopped at Impressions Vanity Company. And as you guys, some of you guys know, that mirror back here with the Hollywood lights is from Impressions Vanity. I was so happy to see them there because I absolutely love my vanity mirror. I'm obsessed ever since I got it. I recommend it to everybody. So the first thing I got here is um, that one mirror that I don't know what the name of it is but you guys know how much traveling I do and so I feel like this will definitely come in handy. Like you touch it and it turns on. Wait a second. So you have to put batteries in it and then I think it bring, you have to put four batteries back here. Then you turn it on, you see the little switch back here, and all you have to do is touch it right here with your finger and it lights up. Very convenient. I thought it was very unique to travel and it's just the perfect size to see your whole face. So, yes, and then this is the little stand where it stands right here, so I basically put it on like this. I don't wanna put it together because I have to pack it because I'm leaving on vacation tomorrow night, which this video will probably be up by the time I'm over there. <laughs> the last thing I got is in this box, and I am so ready to show you. Okay, hang on, let me get it open. Here it is, <laughs> look at it, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, so it fits it's 40 lipsticks in this thing, and I am so stinking excited. I love the top, how it's open, because I can put some more things in there. So I just thought it was genius. I am so stinking excited with this. Oh, I cannot wait to have it on top of my vanity and have all my lipsticks on it. It's just, I, I think this is the perfect size just because the other ones I feel like they have too much room and it's way too many lipsticks. I don't want to put myself in that position because I know me and I would want to fill those slots. So no, but yeah, isn't it gorgeous? So, that is it for my Fame Expo haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Real quick, I wanted to send a shout out to Cheryl at Fame Expo. Thank you so much, girl, for hooking us up with those VIP tickets. I appreciate it so much. I had a blast and absolutely loved it. I cannot wait to do it again next year. Thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. And uh, yeah, until next time, you guys, I hope you have a good one, and I'll catch you on my next diary entry. Un besote. Bye.